if it's true that Warner Brothers is going to make a Supergirl movie and start production sometime next year, that means you're going to have to cast a woman or a girl to play Supergirl sometime this year, I would think. They've got to get that ball rolling if they want to start production early next year. But, you know, I think that if they do cast someone to play Supergirl, it should be a teenager. Because I think that that would be best for multiple reasons. Number one is, I think that, you know, casting an adult grown woman who doesn't at least look like a teenager, either someone they should cast someone who looks like a teenager or actually is a teenager. Otherwise, it would be weird for them to call this character a girl, right? She'd be more like Superwoman. Even on the TV show Supergirl right now with Melissa Benoist, I think Melissa Benoist right now is like 30 or 31 or something like that, or at least 29. Um, so I don't really know how long. She does look pretty young, but still, technically, even if she was like 21 or 22, I mean, you're not really so much of a girl anymore. You're approaching womanhood. Like, what's the what's the eventual goal? Like, you can't, let's say that Supergirl is a superhero for like the next 10 or 20 years. So when she's like 35, is she still going to call herself Supergirl? It would make sense, you know, for them to keep a girl, to hire young to play this girl, to play Supergirl, because then she could grow into the world, to grow into the role and be Supergirl, believably, for a long amount of time than if they cast someone who's like 27, right? Like if they, if Supergirl's around for 10 years, by the time she's 37, she's going to have to start calling herself Superwoman. And that would actually make sense. I mean, there's no reason why Supergirl should stay a girl forever. I mean, as she gets older. I mean, no one stays a girl or a boy forever. Eventually, you're going to have to be Superman or Superwoman in her case. And it would make sense historically because, you know, Superman and Supergirl, even though they haven't, for the most part, they love and support each other. I mean, there have been storylines where they haven't gotten along and stuff, but you know, they're cousins, they love each other, they help each other out, they have each other's backs for the most part, and they work together a lot throughout their history in the comics. Superman has always pretty much been supportive in every story I've read of Supergirl being a superhero and, you know, taking that role if she wants it. So I think that he would be very accepting and supportive of her to take the mantle from him. Like if he ever wanted to retire, you know, for his cousin Kara to grow up and be the next, you know, main Kryptonian superhero on Earth. I mean, she's already has training for years being, you know, his baby cousin fighting villains too alongside him or, you know, away from him. You know, he's always encouraged her mostly to be her best and to be a superhero too, just like him. So I think he'd be in support of her, you know, aging up, you know, when she be, when she's too old to be Supergirl anymore, to become Superwoman and even to be his replacement. I know there's Superboy and stuff in the comics, but Superboy does not exist in the DCEU right now. So the heir apparent to the main super person mantle would have to be Supergirl. She could be, you know, a companion, you know, a partner superhero. You know, that's basically who Supergirl is in the comics anyway right now. She's a she's another fellow Kryptonian superhero. But I think, you know, she would be qualified to be the main, you know, super, you know, Kryptonian hero on Earth if Superman ever retired or was like killed or just was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'll send you over to my cousin. So, you know, I think it'd be cool, too. I think if Supergirl is cast and they pick a, a girl who's a teenager, you know, and she plays Supergirl for like 10 or 15 years, I think audiences would like that. I mean, I know actors go kind of want to move on, but I think there'd be like sentimental attachment to a lot of viewers to see, you know, someone play the same role over several years and grow older. You know, I think that, you know, that would make the, the actors who play Supergirl she would have a special importance, I think, in the eyes of many fans. You know, if you could watch someone grow up from like, you know, 15 or 16 and be in the same superhero role until they're like 26 or maybe even 36. Look at how, you know, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, people get emotional, you know, whenever Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans, you know, Iron Man or Captain America characters come up. Because they've been playing these roles for like 10 years. So I think that could make, you know, the actress who plays Supergirl, if they pick someone young who stays in that role for a long period of time, that could really give her a special importance within the DCEU heroes. And also, it would also make her unique because right now in live action in Marvel and DC, there is no, like, teenage female hero character. Peter Parker, played by Tom Holland, is supposed to be a teenager, even though Tom Holland in his 20s is in his 20s. He looks young enough to play a teenager. But, you know, he's got the teen, the teen boy mark market locked up at least what Peter Parker is supposed to represent but there is no one right now who is the teen girl character in live action superhero movies 
That could be Supergirl. She could tap into a whole new market, a whole new audience. There's all, be all these little girls and young women who maybe don't care about superheroes, but they might be interested to watch them now, these movies, because, you know, there's a teen girl superhero, you know, right there, standing next to, you know, all these Marvel and DC giants who are already on the big screen. You know, Wonder Woman, Supergirl. Captain Marvel, Supergirl. You know, Black Panther, Supergirl. She'd be right up there with the Titans. So, you know, I think it'd be very smart of Warner Brothers to go young. I mean, they could turn around tomorrow and cast some lady who's like 25 to be Supergirl or whatever, but, you know, I think that it would be pretty cool and inter interesting if they pass, if they cast a teenager or at least, you know, someone who's like 19 or something to be that character. But what do you think? How do you feel about Warner Brothers going young for the casting of Supergirl? If they decide to do it, I don't know anything. This is just my theory. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.